I am officially home alone for 24 hours. Well, I'm not completely home alone. I have Kiwi with me, yay! She is wearing her security sweater because Kiwi is going to be my security for the next 24 hours. Ain't that right, Kiwi? You're a little bodyguard, aren't you? Yes, you are. It's actually pretty rare that I'm home alone. The boys are usually always here with me or I'm with friends, so this is gonna be a weird 24 hours. And 24 hours is such a short period of time, I feel like it's gonna fly by, but it'll only fly by if we can occupy ourselves. I would give you a little bit more of a house tour because you guys have been asking for that and we are finally getting more furniture. I just feel like I should wait until we have everything and then you can have the grand house tour. That should happen very soon. And let me tell you guys what we have so far, it looks so so I've been brainstorming what to do for my 24 hours of aloneness. And all I got so far was clean. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna Google it. What to do when you're home alone. How to have fun if you're home alone. Method one, entertain yourself, watch a movie, get back into an old hobby like knitting or painting. I can't do either of those things. Read a book. I just feel like so far it's not given me very exciting fun things. Find brain teasers online. Medium riddle. What did one math book say to the other math book? Seven, eight, nine. Do you wanna hear my problems? I don't like this, not fun. Make videos for your friends. Okay. Hey friends, this is my video for you guys. I don't have any friends to send that to. Okay, this is, you know what, this is terrible. Google was no help, back to the drawing board. You know, I have a lot of space right here and I've only had one dance party since I moved in. I feel like having dance parties is crucial to happiness, you know? So that's what we're gonna do. But little side note, I was at Target and I saw this sweater and I was like, oh my gosh, so cute, do I want it? And I was really going back and forth. I was like picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down. And this lady walking by was like, oh my gosh, you should get that, that's so cute. And I was leaning more towards no at that point, but then when she said that, I was like, oh, maybe she's right. And I said, but what do I wear for bottoms with this? And then she starts listing off all these bottoms I could wear and I was like, you know what, you're so right. And I bought it and um, I can't tell if I regret it or not. Like, I just feel like no bottoms actually work with this. I forced myself today to put this on so that I could ask you guys. This might have to go in the donation pile after this. Anyways. Was a good time. I feel so much better already. Honestly, by Katrina Stewart, it's kind of the best thing to dance to. I don't know. I don't know. AC, AC, AC. Time to relax with Kiwi. I went on my Instagram story, and by the way, if you don't follow me on there, go follow me. Uh, if you saw my last video, we're working on one mil, baby. But anyways, I asked you guys to ask me questions about what it's like living in Vegas and how the movement and everything. So I'm gonna be answering those questions throughout this video. If you know me, you know that I love puzzles and I'm constantly working on one. I can do an 1,000 piece puzzle in a couple days. Like I've gotten decently good at it, but let me tell you, this is the hardest puzzle I've ever done. It's like painted so the lines don't perfectly match up so it's really difficult. Was this puzzle a gift of love or was it to torture me? I don't know. This has taken me so long but I'm finally on the sky which is the hardest part because every single piece looks the same. But maybe during my 24 hour aloneness I can finish this. And let's see what you guys asked me on Instagram. What was that? I'm sure it was nothing. <laughs> Is it very hot in Vegas or does it also get cold? I was shocked. I don't know if the whole world knew this but me, but Vegas is known to be super duper hot, right? It's extremely hot in the summer, but it's also super cold in the winter. Our pool literally got an ice block in it. But I feel like that's been a nice change because I just love sweater weather anyways. So I'm whipping out all the sweaters and going to Target and buying sweaters that I'm not even sure that I like. Anyways. I'm literally doing process of elimination right now. I just have to try one piece in every single spot possible because they all look the same. Don't wanna say I told you so again. Come on, come on, come on. This is just ridiculous. <gasps> no. Hey, I just found my hoops on the floor. This couch is like a jewelry stealer. Even when I have friends come over, I find their jewelry in this couch. 
Is it hard having to travel for music? I wasn't totally sure when I moved to Vegas how that process was gonna be because I do most of my recordings and everything in LA. But it's like a four hour drive away. It's like a 45 minute flight. So it's super easy for me to go back late notice. Also, that doesn't mean that I have to stop working on music while I'm in Vegas. I can still be practicing and writing and all that stuff. Oh, booyah! That means I should stop now so I can walk away with the victory. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a couple hours. I was watching Emily in Paris on Netflix and now I'm hungry, so we're gonna make dinner together. But first, Kiwi has to go pee! Nice. I'm just gonna make a salad for dinner and honestly, all of our pans are dirty, um, but I don't feel like cleaning right now. So I'm gonna cook all my veggies in here. My kitchen is honestly a disaster, but we're going to clean it tomorrow because I have 24 hours alone. No one's making me do anything. Are you supposed to wash broccoli before you cut it or is that just like fine? Nobody said I was a chef, okay? I'm gonna wash it in case. I also have some pre-cut bell pepper strips. This is actually my first time using these. I usually just get bell peppers and cut them, but I'm kind of adventurous, some may say. So as I was sitting there watching Emily in Paris and I was scrolling through TikTok, please tell me I'm not the only one that gets these. These live videos pop up and it's like people sleeping and then a scary monster in the background just like watching them sleep and I think that they're all like mechanical monsters but I just really don't get the point. I obviously don't click on the live because I'm scared. I scroll as fast as I can. But one, what is the point of that? And two, like why would you want to do that to yourself? Because now all I can think about is going to bed tonight and that monster just watching me sleep. Yes, up, shoddy. I love stinky cheese. The stinkier the cheese, the better. Blue cheese for my salad. It's so good. Mm -mm. Yum yum in my tum. Lots of shrimp. I have a hard boiled egg and I have broccoli and bell peppers. As you guys know, I have about 10 more pounds to go in this new year, so I'm still on my healthy grind, okay? Final touch, balsamic glaze. Comment down below if you guys put your maple syrup in the fridge or the cupboard. It's supposed to go in the fridge, okay? Sam puts it in the cupboard and that's just wrong. And if you put it in the cupboard too, I'm judging you. Cheers. Okay, I'm done dinner and I just started the dishwasher and now me and Kiwi are just chilling. What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing? Kiwi, where are you going? Okay, well. I keep hearing these really loud bangs. I'm gonna turn the lights off because I'm scared. There's just two like massive bangs. I haven't heard those ever since we moved here. Um, so that's new. That was kind of scary. Oh my God, I just heard it again. Okay, I've heard this super loud bang like four to... Can you guys hear that? I don't know what to do. It doesn't sound like fireworks. Why does this have to happen on the one night that I'm alone? Okay, I just changed, but I went over into the other room with all the lights off and I was looking out the window and someone's doing fireworks in my neighborhood. So everything is fine. I was just panicking for no reason. Sorry about that, guys. I do have an irrational fear of fireworks, so it makes sense. But we're good, guys. Everything's fine. I'm just a little shaken up. It's like 8.30 and I'm actually exhausted. I can't stop yawning. So I'm gonna wind down and chill and if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. But first we need to do our skincare. So let's get unready together. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so while I do my skincare, I'm gonna answer some of your questions still. So someone asked, are you happier there than LA? 
I think that because I lived in LA for so long and I had been through so much, like every place that I went reminded me of something. And of course I had a lot of amazing times living in LA, but there also was a lot of not so amazing times, especially in like the entertainment business. It's pretty crazy out there. I still have a place in my heart for LA, but I do feel happier thus far living in Vegas. I'll still be out there all the time, I'm sure, but it's nice having my home that's not there. Okay, does anyone else have this problem where like eye cream lasts them forever? And I use a good amount of eye cream every morning and night and I've had this eye cream forever, but I'm finally finishing it. Like this has to be expired by now. Someone asked, what surprised you about Vegas? So before I moved here, I came to Vegas like a lot, but I always would stay on the strip and I only ever knew the strip area. I always thought like, how do people live in Vegas? When I thought of Vegas, I only thought of the Strip. Now that I'm here, I'm like, wow, this is so nice. I think initially it was really cool because it was just like, I've never been to other parts of Vegas. Let's see what it has to offer. Sometimes I hate doing my skincare right before I go to bed because it wakes me up. Does that happen to anyone else? Ooh, ah. Okay, that's it for the skincare. I'm probably just gonna watch TV now and chill and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Rise and shine. <laughs> Good morning. I finally fell asleep at like 1 a.m. I think I finished the puzzle last night So I deserve an award for that this morning. I woke up really hungry But before I eat I'm gonna go to the gym and then we're gonna come back and make a very healthy breakfast Can you go inside? All right, guys, I went to the gym. I didn't end up filming there because it was super duper busy today. But if you want to know what I did, I ran on the treadmill nonstop for a mile at like a 6.5 to 7.5 speed. And then after that, I like cooled down and walked for half a mile. And then I just did the hip abduction machines. Now that I'm home, I'm going to have a protein shake and chill for a second. Okay, guys, I just drank a protein coffee and now I'm going to make actual breakfast. Working at the car wash. So I normally do like two eggs, avocado, yogurt, but since I don't have avocado, I'm gonna do three eggs. I'm going a little crazy. Oh shoot, I forgot to oil it. Please don't stick. The boys are coming back later today, so we are in our final hours of being alone. So far, I feel like I've kept myself decently busy, finishing the puzzle, um, watching Emily in Paris, very important things. What is happening? How long did it take to unpack? I feel like it took maybe a month to fully get rid of all the boxes. The hard part is getting all the furniture and places to put all the stuff that you have. But I'd say now that like everything is in its place, we just need like big furniture, like tables, stuff like that. So usually Sam's the one that makes us breakfast and then I make dinner. And I feel like you can tell because I haven't made breakfast in a minute, so my eggs are trash. The eggs are finished. And here's my scoop of Greek yogurt. Ketchup on eggs is a game changer. Do not judge me if you haven't tried it. You're missing out. Cheers. All right, I've only got a couple hours left until the boys get home. I think I'm gonna do some around the house cleaning and probably start editing this video. Overall, I'd say having alone time is nice, but me personally, I wouldn't want to live alone. One, I freak myself out when I hear noises, and two, who kills all the spiders? Comment below if there's any challenges you guys wanna see me do. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet, it's free. Give this video a big ol' like, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye!